This is X-Rite Colorimeter Model RM200QC. This is the on-off button and this will be the navigation button up, down, left, right and enter. This is the measure button. The calibration plate is actually located behind here and then this will be the measuring op uh, aperture. Press on. The unit will turn on and show the model and the brand name X-Rite RM200QC. Once we turn on, the unit will, sh will show us it will ask us to do calibrations and the calibration plate must cover at the measurement aperture there and when we press the measure button the unit will automatically take to the calibrations and the calibration is done after we do the calibrations it will come into this selection menu uh, the bottom is actually for us to do the selection and then the first will be the settings in in the settings the first selection will be language we can press the enter button and to choose the different language that you need and it will ask you to exit select or back of course now we're going back then usb report mode this unit having a usb connection here so this unit by using USB connection can do charging and transfer a very simple report to the software. Calibrations, we already done. Aperture, this unit we able to choose the large aperture size or the small aperture size. When we choose large aperture size, the size will be 6mm and the small aperture size is 4mm. The display options will be all color plot and all the information we can select we can see all the qc samples all the arrow hints and then all the data we want to see we can select from here measurement setup is for us to set the averaging mode St factory setting we need to measure three times to measure the standard and one time to measure the sample which means we measure three times he will automatically calculate us averaging value for us we can change by pressing the edit button however this unit can be setting a password to log it the password is 999 then we press ok the security deactive now we can change the reading okay and then after we set already we press save We press save, then we can save the uh, standard average. Tolerance is for us to set <coughs> which tolerance that you want. And then what is the tolerance? Delta E equals to 1, 1.2 or 1.3. Again, same thing. We press the enter button and then you move up or down on the navigation button. And then you go to illumination, which illumination, illumination that you want to uh, set tolerance usually we are using d65 stroke 10 after we set everything again we press the save button on the right navigation button and then the next will be the volume we can set the system volume to be louder or the voice tag volume to be louder the second will be the product info. This nothing much we can do setting. It's only for customer to view the uh, product info like the versions, serial number and the model and everything. Then we can view the tutorial. The tutorial will teach you how to use the unit. And then we can do the reset device. Reset device when you need to do is because of sometimes our device is hang or some function is actually uh, wrongly set by other people. Then we can do the uh, reset device. And we can activate the security. Once we activate the security again, when we need to change the 
tolerance where we need to change a measurement setup we need to press the password 999 again so this is the setting this rm200 qc able to store for 20 standards to sell to install the to measure the standard and save into the dead uh, rm200 qc at first we come to standard number one we select it and then we press the edit button and we can start measurements due to we already set the measurement setup is three averaging to measure standard so we need to measure three times when we set standard one two three once we have done the three measurements the unit will automatically calculate the average value of lab for us then we press the save button he will ask us to delete associated sample if we have a sample installed into this standard we want to delete we press yes if no then we can just press no the new standard has been set so the subsequent standard you need to do same procedure select it and then edit and then you can measure onto the standard uh, color the third function is color qc color qc is actually for us to do comparison color matching with our standard now we have one standard which is blue in our rm200 qc we do the measurements so now once we measure on our sample the unit will automatically compare with our standard which is already saved into our rm200 qc and the result is pass because delta e is perfect 0, 0.0 then we can view all the readings standard and sample readings comparison all is 0, 0, 0. and then we can view the graph hot graph and then the gray skew stain color and strength of the color so we can view all the data from the screen here the fourth selection is actually for us to do quick check color compare when using color compare we doesn't we doesn't have any safe ability this is a need for quick check for example if your client or your bosses is coming to your place and asking hey what is these two color differences you can use this color compare because you no need to save color and ask them to wait you to save a standard then only you do measurements what we need to do is now we measure a standard first we measure standard now as usual since we set the measurement setup is three times we need to measure three times on the, to the standard and the unit will automatically jump to measure sample and ask us to measure on the sample then we will measure onto the sample and it show to us the data is actually 0 0.4 delta e which is very close and again we can view all the data by pressing the down button and the last menu selections is actually to show us the sample record we can delete all the sample from here and we can view the sample measurement date and time from these selections this rm200 qc able to switch the aperture from large to small when we select large this will be the large aperture size and we can measure everything into the circle is the area that we are going to measure and we can select to small apertures and the circle will become smaller this is actually good to for for us to measure on a very small part aside doing color matching this rm200 qc able to do opacity check opacity check is actually to measure a transparent product something like this which is how not transparent when the transparency is high the opacity is low when the transparency is low the opacity is high to measure opacity we need to have two background color which is black and white when we select opacity check the unit will ask us to measure over white and over black the sample put on top of the white background and we measure then he will ask us to measure over black the sample put on top of the black background and we measure so 
he will tell us the contrast ratio is 6.7 it's very low opacity because this is actually a very high transparency product of the power we need to press a longer time then he will show us a turn off power yes or no of course we select yes and press the enter button then it will show us power down and the unit will be turned off